So I've been using both Apple Music and YouTube Music for about a year, both amazing services and all, but there's only one winner that would take the crown of them all. And that is, listen, this is a tough one to compare. All right guys, so kicking things off with Apple Music, as you can see front and center, this is the homepage. So right away you have your listen again portion, you have your made for you, and everything is featured in a nice big bold text so it's easy to see. As you can see, things are animated, album covers are animated, so it gives a more live look, and it's easy to get to point A to point B. On the bottom, you're presented with your homepage, which we are currently in right now. You have your new, so this is presented with all of your new content, so new albums, new songs. You also have your top 100s, which is always interesting to see what's hot around the world. And it doesn't even stop there. It has top 100 for the USA, UK, and Canada. You also have your city charts too. Of course, you have your radio. This is all of your your Beats 1 radio, or I'm, I'm sorry, it's not even Beats 1 no more. It's Apple Music 1. Out of all the years of being an Apple Music subscriber, I'd never use this at all. And of course, you have your library. This is all of the albums that you have saved or downloaded or even some music synced via the iTunes. Or And as the UI of Apple Music itself, anything you see, you just tap on it. You tap on play and it's going to start playing the music right away. And same thing with your new mix. This is all the new music that came out. Well, yesterday was Friday, so we have a bunch of new music that dropped. The thing is with Apple Music with these playlists is things are more fine-tuned by the Apple Music team. But very soon, you guys are going to see that YouTube Music takes a different approach. And before I switch things to YouTube Music, this is how the now plan looks like. So, of course, you have your animated album cover there. Um, I should probably play some new music, but I've been listening to, honestly, never mind. This album is... I don't know, it's growing on me. But, okay, so look, for instance, we have Cash Cobain. You can see the flash going on there. Even when you pause it, you still see the animation just there. And of course, on the bottom left, you have your lyrics. Now, this is one of the things where Apple really gets it right. When you see the lyrics, you can tap on each lyric to kind of rewind back to that portion. So if you can... You can uh, tap here. It's going to skip to that portion of the song. And even so, if you tap and hold it, now you can share that lyric with your friends. So, for instance, I could put it in the group chat. I could send it via iMessage. And, of course, you have your Apple Music Sing. So, essentially, this is going to minimize the vocals. You're still going to hear a faint of it, but not as much. And it's going to just play the instrumental. course i don't want to get hit with copyright or anything but it has a very neat interface that's one thing i gotta say with apple music the interface is nice and neat and, and yeah of course you have your light mode and at any point you can inactivate dark mode and now you have everything nice and dark now now the best thing about apple music is the sound quality the sound quality is actually pretty phenomenal. You have lossless audio, you have spatial audio. I prefer to listen to Apple Music on a Mac just because you can adjust the EQ sliders. I wish that was available on the iPhone. To this day, Apple still doesn't allow custom EQs. You just have these presets. And I and this is on iOS 18 and it's still a thing here. So, And the thing is with Apple Music, when it comes down to discovering new tracks, in new music, it kind of pales in comparison. Yes, you have your discovery station here. Oops. You have your discovery station here, but it's nowhere near to the caliber of either Spotify or even YouTube music. And speaking of YouTube music, I think that's a perfect transition to talk about YouTube music. Now with YouTube music now, you have your quick picks. So of course, if we tap on Drake here, so it's gonna start a radio station of uh, of Drake, so pop style. So what comes up next? You have the on the radar freestyle, uh, ZZ. So it's gonna give you a radio station essentially of pop style. And the best thing about this is you can have things that sounds familiar to pop style or something kind of related to it. You have your discover. So any new tracks that you want to probably learn or something that you probably didn't play too much, it's gonna present it with that. Or you have your popular, your deep cuts. So everything is more like YouTube music is more curated for 
loose songs or songs that are on playlists versus Apple Music is like for the albums. You know, the sound quality is good and everything. But when it comes down to discovering music, I think YouTube music is pretty strong. And not to mention, this is YouTube. This is YouTube right here. So you could play things like Wagwan Delilah. Uh, so Wagwan Delilah is not on Apple Music. Uh, so you have that. Also, you have your slow and reverbs. I listen to a lot of these all the time. And the fact that you have that option right there alongside uh, uh, music that's on Apple Music, it kind of makes it a no brainer to go with YouTube music. And since we're here talking about the now playing portion, you have the song and then you can quickly switch into the music video. Now, in this case, it's just showing the lyric video. Let me play this, man. Okay, perfect example. So I really don't want to get hit with copyright too much, but you can switch between the song and the music video right then and there. So if you want to just watch the music video, you could do so. Of course, you have your airplay here, so you can cast this onto your TV or Bluetooth speakers. And of course, you can be able to add this onto your queue, start a radio station. You could thumbs up the video, thumbs down. You can even view the comments. For every single track that you guys see here, you can actually see the comments. So it's not just for the music video. You can actually, uh, let's play Future right here. You can now read the comments. So you can see what people think about the song, which to me, I think this is very important. Like sometimes I listen to some something so hard that I want to see what other people think about it. And, and the radio station thing is so powerful because right after the scene at all, it plays No Friends in the Industry by Drake. Isn't that hilarious? Of course, very similar to Apple Music. You have your lyrics present, and any lyric that you tap on is going to skip right into that portion of the track, which is very nice. And the next tab over, you have your Related. So Related is going to give you song that's going to be related to the song that you're listening to. And, uh, and of course, you have your recommended playlist. So the YouTube community... They add this song to their playlist. So this is the recommended playlist that YouTube Music might think you might like. And like I said, I'm going to say it again. That's the best thing about YouTube Music. You can, pull, you can listen to covers. You can listen to slow, reverb, speed up, mashups. And, and uh, Kendrick Lamar and Metro Boomin, they have a guitar remix. All right? So this sounds incredible. When I'm in the gym, I was playing this. It gives a, a breath of fresh air for the song. And going back into the home screen here, you can change the quick picks to uh, more energized songs, party songs, so things that's more curated for parties. So any track that you tap on is going to just start. It's going to start a uh, a radio station. So it's going to play "We Still Don't Trust You," which is perfect. Man, look, look just hear that. All right. Oh, that's amazing. That's fire. It just it just knows. So like I said, YouTube is going to curate a mix. So essentially, this is the radio station. So all the songs that I'm going to like, nine times out of ten, I'm going to like these. Especially if I'm in the car and I just want to play something. YouTube music is always going to be the first thing that I'm going to launch up into and just tap on one of these mixes and call it a day. Of course, I'd even take it over to the tabs down here. You have your samples. So I don't really, I never use this. So this is just all the samples. So these are all the samples that uh, I don't even know, man. It's a waste of space, to be honest. Of course, you have your explore. So see what's new. So you have your new releases. See what's hot on the charts. So very similar to Apple Music. And of course, you have your library here. So this is basically all the songs that I have downloaded, saved on. And more than likely, I have an option on YouTube Music where if I listen to enough music, it's going to automatically download it. It's called Smart Download. So if I'm in an instance where I'm offline and I don't have any service, uh, I'm going to have it save 171 tracks. So it's going to take up a gigabyte. And this is a one terabyte iPhone, so I really don't care too much. But yeah, this is a nice option to have. As you can see and just hear my tone, I love YouTube music. Now, before I even go, if you guys are watching this video all the way through, I appreciate it. I'm going to try to do a sound test so you guys can hear the difference between Apple Music and YouTube music. So make sure you guys put on your headphones so you guys can hear.
all of that aside, who's exactly the winner? Apple Music or YouTube Music? If I had to pick one service, I would have to pick YouTube Music. YouTube Music, it comes with YouTube Premium, everything just goes hand in hand. So watching YouTube with no ads and you're still supporting the creators, even better. Even though the songs or the tracks are not as higher quality compared to Apple Music, I still rather pick YouTube Music just due to the fact how YouTube knows what I like to play and you can find certain tracks that you're just not gonna find on Apple Music. I still like Apple Music and there's a reason on why I still subscribe to it. They both winners at the end of the day. No matter which one you go with, you shouldn't have a problem. But if we're talking about value and for what you can get the most out of your money, I would probably pick YouTube Music any day of the week.